the light is running away from the valley and I have a confession to make and a poem to share. Welcome to the Austin James Haynes podcast. I'm at the bald overlook nestled in between the rocks at the top of Hawk Mountain Sanctuary. The sun is setting in front of me. The river of rocks lay behind me as the valley is still blanketed with a burnt orange, yellow, reds, browns, and grays. I have a confession to make. Imposter syndrome. Not feeling worthy. Feeling like you missed your chance. Is it too late? This is a question you might be asking yourself. Is it too late? Did I miss my chance? That question inspired a poem that I'm going to share with you. That question, along with a, a Robert Frost poem, inspired a poem that I'm going to share with you today. But the confession that I will make with you right from the beginning is that I felt and feel sometimes that I missed my chance. What does that feeling mean? Have you felt that way? Today, my intention is that we embrace and welcome that feeling in and see if it can lend a new meaning to us as it has developed in my life and expanded. And then the other thing that I believe goes hand in hand in your midlife when you go to make changes that it's too late can lead you to feel like an imposter. Who are you to do these things? Who are you to make these changes? You're getting older now. And I am gonna share a bonus poem with you today. Welcome. Pause and breathe. This is my second time here. You can hear the previous visit on another podcast. But if this is your first time here in the podcast or hearing it here, you can you can feel and sense the stillness here. Even as the wind gusts kick up, you can sense it. Pause and breathe in through your nose. Belly expands, lungs fill to capacity. Exhale, soften your face. Let that peaceful calm come over you. And if you're on the audio, I'm panning here over this incredible valley. You can see that looming light, that orange hue, almost like a halo or aura over the valley. The rocks over my left shoulder here. I'm on the ledge, not too close, but just enough to get to this beautiful spot. So I encourage you to come over and check that out. I'm gonna get right into this with this poem that I wrote, and I wanna be very clear, this was inspired by Robert Frost, The Road Less Traveled, but I, I thought to myself, that poem initially meant that that traveler took the road less traveled, but what if you didn't? My question was, what if I didn't take the road less traveled? What if I missed my chance? And then shortly after that question, I, I scripted this poem. These poems come through me Charles Bukowski has on his epitaph, don't try, don't try, don't try to force it, don't try to manipulate it, just allow it in the state of presence. And that's where these poems come from. This is called Taken, Taking the Path Not Taken. Taking the Path Not Taken, Not Taken. I now tell my story with a sigh and glee. Someone ages and ages from now will see. Two paths emerged in a green wood. 
I took the one most traveled by, as I should. Many years hence I reflect and see the wide path unfulfilled dreams left to be. Hypnotized, lulled to sleep and almost buried alive. But a palpitating pulse rises from deep inside. I retrace my steps to that once fork in my path. Perhaps it will lend me a second chance. The wood now yellow, orange, and red beckons my soul. I am resurrected from the dead. One step, one bold step, although semi-rattled and shaken, my foot firmly planted, taking the path not taken. Taking the path not taken. You missed it. You felt like you missed your chance. You wonder if the you wonder many years hence you reflect and see the wide path unfulfilled and dreams left to be. You feel hypnotized. How many of you have felt that? You feel this hypnotic rhythm. You feel lulled to sleep. You feel like you're just existing. Hypnotized, lulled to sleep and almost buried alive. But, but, don't count you out. A palpitating pulse rises from deep inside. You decide, can, you ask, can I retrace my steps? Can I go back? Can I look at the opportunity? And maybe you can't go back to that, but you can maybe retrace your steps that you've taken. And maybe, just maybe, you can open up another opportunity, retrace your steps to that once fork in your path. Perhaps it will lend you a second chance. Yes, but it'll be an unexpected journey and it'll be different than what you originally thought. And this one step, although semi-rattled and shaken, one bold step, think about how you're rattled and shaken sometimes, feeling the uncertainty, but the change is inevitable. One bold step, it takes one bold step. It could be a small step, although semi, and you may feel semi-rattled and shaken but your foot firmly planted, taking the path not taken. And sometimes we go back and, you know, in this poem it says, in the beginning the wood was green, but now the wood is yellow, orange, and red. But those colors beckon you and almost resurrect you from the dead. The season of autumn, the change, letting go, the leaves falling, the sun is setting now behind me and you take that path not taken. I would just, I'm just gonna pause here for a moment and give you an opportunity to reflect on that for yourself and you can type something in the comments. You can send me a message. And you know, this poem, what it means for you could be different. Can you go back? You may not necessarily go back, but we can go back and reflect in our minds and metaphorically take up that path that we wanted to take. Can we open up to that? The answer is yes, my friend. The answer is yes. Breathe in an unexpected way. <sighs> breathe out what no longer serves you. I say breathe in an unexpected way. It's opening up to the uncertain path you can't see, but you've made your decision. I'm gonna share one more poem that I haven't shared publicly yet, but I'm gonna share it 
and it goes in line as we age we come into midlife we reflect on many things and we might be carrying many things but there's a there's a light inside it's always there as the sun continues to set and the autumn winds blow colder here in the evening at hawk mountain sanctuary i'm going to share a poem i've never shared publicly before it's called emergent emergent i emerged here out of the blue when did i become conscious i haven't a clue for one day i became aware i was here where is here and why do i fear for one day i experienced pain shattered my utopia never the same i see fell down thought at the end but i learned i can rise again i experienced winning and its nectar sweet my identity firmly planted rooted its feet so i thought but the ground was shaken my ego so sure while my heart became broken humbled in my humanness again forever changed importance validation yearning rearranged another day awakened trying to survive have i forgotten what it means to be alive a day a fortnight a month a season where is my purpose what is my reason my miraculous body suddenly feels older did spring jump to winter my hands grow colder wrinkles and gray hair begin to appear oh i become aware of a new fear but something deep resonated higher i sense the presence of an eternal fire sparked fired higher while i endured the dark my life my learning my legacy will forever leave a mark this poem has a lot in it it's this idea of where did i come from in the beginning we're trying to make sense we go out we we become successful right i emerged here out of the blue when did i become conscious i have a clue and this is definitely autobiographical for me um because one day i experienced pain shattered my utopia never the same i thought life was over and then i i see i fell down i thought it was the end but i learned i could rise again and perhaps you've risen again right you but then <clears throat> you feel winning you feel this worldly winning and it feels so secure but then later so i thought but the ground was shaken my ego so sure when my heart became broken you experience loss something changes the ground seems to just be moved out from under you then you're humbled in your humanness again you're forever changed oh the importance validation yearning rearrange what you thought was important has changed another day awaken trying to survive you you're just trying to try to make sense of it all then you maybe you, you have forgotten what it means to be alive the time goes by a day a fortnight a month perhaps a season where is my purpose what is my reason then you realize your body's getting older i question you know my hands go colder my miraculous body suddenly felt older did spring jump to winter my hands grow colder so there's this new challenge you're going through you start to notice wrinkles and gray hair began to appear oh i became aware of a new fear but that deep part of you is always there but something deep resonated higher i sense the presence of an eternal fire sparked fire higher while i endured the dark my life my learning my legacy will forever leave a mark and i want to say to you your life and your legacy will leave a mark even if when you feel lost and confused if you're serving others and you've 
you've left a mark already. But sometimes we need to take care of ourselves as we traverse midlife. And that is making sense of where we are in the journey and opening up to a new road, knowing that we can take the path not taken. We can go back and or reinvent a new path. And, and we can retrace our steps to make sense of our journey. And we can realize we emerged here for a reason. And we can overcome and ride the emotions and come out on the other side and realize that here's the call. When we feel lack of worth, which I have felt many times in my life, when we feel like an imposter, that is the invitation to go deeper. And that's what I want to leave you with. That's the whole purpose of this podcast is that the motions of feeling like an imposter, feeling like you missed it, that is the invitation to go deeper and more specifically to realize that what you thought you missed, you're focusing on, right? You're focusing on your questioning, but that's an, also an invitation to deepen your recognition on, and your awareness on the path that you are taking. And here is the paradox. You're, and, and if you go back and read Robert Frost's poem, um, The Road Less Traveled, I encourage you to read that one again, because it might make different sense to you now. Read it again, listen to this one, and draw from it your own conclusion and I want to leave you with this, the feeling, the feelings of being an imposter, the feelings of feeling like it's too late for you. That's the invitation. That's the beautiful message. Will you answer the invitation when those emotions arise and to recognize what you do have and to open up to everything that's meant for you? As Rumi said, what you seek seeks you and maybe this podcast opening up to those emotions and considering that the invitation was exactly what you needed to hear pause and breathe embrace this beautiful moment and i'll see you on the next episode of the austin james haynes podcast and please subscribe to whatever platform you're listening to. And if you're on the audio, go check out the YouTube at Austin James Haynes. You will find the video there. It's a beautiful view. So I'm going to end the podcast here. And if you're on the video, please hang on. And I'm going to do a 360 for you. Beauty, stillness, autumn wind, incredible light coming off the horizon. Lots of love to you. God bless. Let your midlife reinvention unfold in an unexpected way. It's never too late to become the person you always believed you could be. Until next time, pause and breathe. Bye for now.